Good evening, everyone. Ivan here. I just wanted to go over a trade that I took earlier this morning. This was fine the pre-market around right before open. So the levels I have marked usually is pre-market high and pre-market low. And then I will also mark the previous sessions low as well as the previous sessions high. Right from the open at 4 in the morning Pacific time up until right before open, we're on a clear uptrend. And then when CPI data was released, we had this ignition candle, strong ignition candle. So my thesis going into open was that we would continue to see some uptrend for a bit. So now we fast forwarded 10 minutes after the open. As you can see here, SPY had formed a tweezer bottom or even a double bottom on the five minute, as well as a bullish engulfing and this ignition candle went through my 20 EMA, which is this pink line, as well as the 9 EMA, which is the red line. So that for me tells me that there's multiple confluences that this trade will continue to see an uptrend for a little bit. And I am definitely interested in taking some calls at this point. So my entry that I was looking for, my thought was that the 9 EMA on the 5 minute was a little too high for me to join. So I was eyeing on the 1 minute to join on a pullback on the 9 and 20 EMA tap. So we're gonna let this play out. And as we get closer, I get my first contracts in here. And then I'll fast forward a little bit more. Again, we have another small pullback on the 9 and 20 EMA tap here. I try to get filled some more and indeed I do. So now I'm full position in this trade. So at this point, I'm fully uh, scaled in. My initial profit target would be this uh, high of day tap right here. So we're gonna let this play out. I'm gonna jump a little bit. Hopefully uh, it doesn't go too far. And we're approaching near it. Uh, at this point, I'm already up uh, around $30 per each contract. And as we hit that high of day, I'm looking to scale majority of my contracts. Uh, just waiting for this to push through. So sometimes patience is key and bam, we hit it. And then now I'm scaling out. So now I'm left with my runners. And then by this point, my next profit target was a uh, previous high of day. So now I'm going to jump a little bit because that did take a while. And sure enough, we approach previous high of day and I scaled out right around 360, my runner. Um, so then at that point, my runners were left uh, $80 per contract. So what helped me stay in that trade with my runners was that on the five minute, we never cracked below the nine EMA, again, which is the red line. And then if you look on the one minute as well, um, it stands as well that we never went below the nine EMA. So I felt comfortable holding that uh, for a while. Uh, my exit plan was if we cracked below the nine, um, I would just I would have just scaled out my uh, runners there and just take whatever profit uh, that he gave me. So I guess the key takeaways from this video would be uh, definitely know your candlestick patterns, uh, know your setups, be patient, and you know if you're gonna buy calls this took me a while to learn but if you're gonna buy calls buy on a pullback which be which would be buy on a red candle i know it's gonna sound weird at first trust me it took me so long to get used to doing that but once you start doing that your entry it your entries will be so much better and you won't find yourself red immediately on a trade if it even pulls back slightly on you because you're so close to your exit plan anyway because when i entered over here uh if we cracked below the 9 and 20 ma um i would have just cut the trade and that would have just been like a very very small paper cut so i hope you guys learned something from this video if you have any questions please feel free to ask i'm always around have a great night guys